it's no surprise, of course, to see South Africans mixing it with the big beasts of professional golf. Davy van der Valt, all six feet five of him, has won twice in the last 11 months and fears nobody, not even in Johannesburg's Lion Park. I don't often see people taller than me. <laughs> Does he bite? Davy celebrated his 31st birthday this week. He hails from Cape Town, played college golf in the States, and after turning pro in 2007, won several times on the satellite tours in America before his big breakthrough last season. She can do with a little shave there. She's got a beard going. Davy had everything going at Centurion last March when he captured the Schwani Open, his maiden European tour title, ahead of compatriots Darren Fickart and Louis de Jaeger. Oh, that's two of them. Hey, look at that, how cute is that? They're cuddling. His victory beat his previous best European tour performance of tied third in the 2012 Joburg Open. But how scary was that winning feeling compared to, well, what you're doing now, Davy? This is a little bit more scary, I suppose, because uh, if uh, this one turns around and takes my hand off, uh, <laughs> you know, my career's over. I knew I was going to have to play well. Um, you know, I had a couple of guys that was playing well also that was close. You know, I just tried to keep my head down and make a bunch of birdies. I knew I'm going to have to shoot a couple on the paw if I was going to come out on top. Which he duly did to claim a cheque of almost €238,000. It helped him to clinch the Sunshine Tours Order of Merit and celebrate at home with his family in Texas, where he studied at Lamar University. I went to a college there to go study and uh, ended up turning pro and just... You know, ever since then, I, I live there. <laughs> his claws is in my foot. <laughs> OK. Davy got his claws into his second triumph on home soil two months ago at the Nelson Mandela Championship in Durban, an emotional event overshadowed by the death the week before of the former South African president. Winning the tournament at that time of the year and at that stage was, uh, you know, made it a little bit special. And, any other time, um, yeah, and it was, a, it was an emotional victory for me, you know, trying to play as well as I can and see where it ended up. Because you can say you can get lucky and win once, but, you know, kind of winning twice uh, validated the first performance too, you know, and making sure that uh, giving me confidence that I know that I can win more often. Despite having claimed a place at the Open Championship this year and greatly improved his world ranking, Davy has not been without his setbacks. An ankle injury soon after his victory at Centurion led to a drastic loss of form. Look at this oak in the back just chilling with his mother. I felt on top of the world after winning and then a few weeks after that I finished second in Brazil so my game felt good and then after the injury you know I started playing so bad I missed seven cuts in a row. Having an ankle injury you know when, you, when you're big guys uh, it's not the, the best thing you want to be playing with and uh, it feels like you're never going to play good again so to win at the end of the year again I started feeling better about a month before before that victory you know so it was kind of uh, you know, being at the top, being at the bottom and then feeling like you're, you're playing well again and get some confidence. And at all times, wife Bobby Jo and daughter Ali are right there in support. Say hi. Say hi. Can you blow my kiss? Blow my kiss. Blow my kiss. Oh. There you go. Oh. There you go. <laughs> well, I had a great day at the Lion Park. I got my little daughter a souvenir. Oh. Better go practice now. Cheers.